guys, this is Thomas with Bushwhacker and behind me is the Bushwhacker ST180. And today we're gonna walk through the setup of this unit. This setup also applies to the MD144, the HD240, the ST120, and any other flex wing that we offer. The first step in setting up this ST180, when you first receive it, you're gonna have your tongue pitched up in the front. What you have to do is you have to turn these rear turnbuckles here to get that front tongue down level with your draw bar. And how you do that is you just take a wrench and you go here, you loosen your jam nut, and you turn on it. If you turn it clockwise, it lowers it. Counterclockwise, it makes it taller. A good reminder on setting up these units is that you need to be on level ground. One thing you want to make sure, you want to make sure you don't have a whole bunch of slack in either of them. And once you got it about level with your draw bar there, you want to tighten these jam nuts up so it can't back off on you. Keep in mind when you're doing these turnbuckles that more adjustment may be required. Now it's time to hook up your tractor. When you have your tongue level with your draw bar, you'll see this clevis here and this free swings. So what it does is when you back up your draw bar, it's gonna hit here and level out to drop your bolt in. You do need to put a bolt in there. Now that you've got the mower hooked up to the draw bar, the tractor from turning the turnbuckles, which levels it front to back, you're gonna to wanna to hook up your hoses, your hydraulic hoses. Now one key difference on our FlexWing models is the MD144, it has the option of coming with one or two hose setup. All that is is if it is one hose, you'll just plug into one of your ports and that actually controls the center deck and the wings all together. With the two hose setup, it controls the wings independently. But for this unit, we're just gonna hook up the two hose system which is standard for most of our FlexWings. Now right here, You'll have two travel locks on this, and you, they're transportation locks. If you're ever moving the mower from one farm to another, or down the road, whatever it may be, you need to have these bolted on in case you were to lose hydraulic pressure for any reason, the wing could fall. But what you need to do now, after you got established your hydraulic pressure, these are two three-quarter bolts on each side. I've already loosened them, so you'll need to take them out. And you can put them right here so you don't lose them. Same on the other side. And now you're ready to let your wings down to complete the leveling process. In the first part of the video, we leveled the middle deck from front to back using the center or the rear turb buckles here. Now what we need to do is we need to level the wings with the center. By doing that, we have these turnbuckles back here that level out the three independent axles. All you have to do is loosen up this jam nut. I found that a pipe wrench works the best. Put it on here, and all you're gonna do is turn on that turnbuckle as much as you need to until you get the wing level with the center. And of course, after you get it done, Go ahead and tighten up that jam nut so it can't back up on you. And you'll do the same thing to the other side. Now once you've done that, the way to measure it, to make sure you've got it completely level, is take your center chains, the bottom of your center chains to the ground, see what that measurement is, versus the center chains to the ground on the wing. The great thing about Bushwhacker's mechanical linkage is that once you have it set and you have the wings leveled with the center deck, that is your one-time adjustment. It doesn't matter if you want to go from two to six, from eight to four inches in cutting. You never have to get back out and readjust the cutter. The last and final step before you're getting ready to mow is hooking up your drive line. On the ST180, it comes with a CB drive line. It's very, very simple to hook up. On the front side of it, on the CB joint, 
we have what's called a ball collar kit. Basically what you do is you take this ring here, you pull back, and as you can see it exposes these ball bearings here. When you put it on, you line up your splines on your tractor, PTO shaft, and you can see these grooves in here. You'll push past it, and when you slide it back, you'll hear those balls click into that joint, indicating that it's on there. Then on the other side of the drive shaft, that'll go to the gearbox side. It's the same concept, however, it's a tapered pin. That's a three-quarter bolt, or nut, I'm sorry. And as you can see, it's got a tapered uh, middle part to it. And that taper needs to sit right in the groove of the groove on the divider gearbox. It'll only go in one way. If it doesn't slide right in, then it's not, it's not inserted correctly. But once you do that, you push it back through, Make sure you got your washer. And you put your nut back on. Now one important thing is just to tighten this about hand tight. You don't need any kind of impact on it. If you do put an impact on it what, and make it too tight, what it does is, is it makes the bolt weak. And if you were to get into a rust spot, it could snap that bolt and cause all kinds of things. Again, this is Thomas with Bushwhacker, and this was the setup of the SP180. If you have any questions, visit our website or contact your local dealer. Bushwhacker, tough on grass, easy on your wallet.